So the moment the news came out that pregnant women could get vaccinated, I actually wanted to get vaccinated. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah X Miracle and I have two other children, 15 and 6. We went through a pregnancy loss two years ago and this is our rainbow baby. We're in the 35th week of pregnancy. I'm due in five weeks time. We obviously have a virus lurking around and you could end up with a more serious effect of the virus on your body because you're pregnant. The second difference is now if you want to give birth, there are a lot of restrictions surrounding hospitals and medical facilities and for me, for our previous pregnancy with Leon, he only took 20 minutes in the labour ward and so I'm just like, okay, that's very little time for my husband to get an AIT test and find parking and do all the admin and sign all the papers to say that he's clear of COVID to come up and be with me in the labour ward. For me, I personally prefer to be home as much as I can um, during labour because it's very uncomfortable in the hospital. But this time I think we have to go early, so... <sighs> no choice. The initial concern about being vaccinated was that there were no studies to prove that pregnant women wouldn't have any other side effects from being vaccinated. The US actually published a series of studies that showed that pregnant women who were vaccinated compared to a control group they didn't have any difference between preterm labour or the rate of abnormalities because previously it was no, pregnant women have to be excluded. So it was very confusing, right? I guess once that was out, I felt like I should because they were having a lot of restrictions with dining out, going to malls, things like that. And you just feel like you can't even be part of social life. My mother did a very good job of nagging me to get vaccinated, by the way. So... <laughs> But for her, it was also because she wanted the family to be together and there were a lot of restrictions about unvaccinated people meeting in groups, right? A big thing was about like, hey, if not, we cannot celebrate your sister's birthday, blah blah blah, because you're all not vaccinated. Sometimes the shallow reasons are also important, but of course, for my own safety, I'm, I think she was also quite concerned. I was actually very relieved that I didn't have any massive side effects. I had like arm pain, like, you know, normal arm pain like achy, but I didn't have like a flu or like a fever or that kind of thing. And the second shot was even less. I was so shocked. I was like, my husband was knocked out and I'm okay leh. So my friend was saying, maybe because you already have a lower immune response because you're pregnant. Because if your immune system is working, you're supposed to have a reaction to the vaccine. And I'm like, oh, is it? <laughs> but I would like a doctor to give a proper opinion on this. I'm not very sure if that's true. I think I was more concerned about birth defects. Yeah, because a lot of things could be tetragenic, whether it's in the environment or whatever, right, while you're pregnant. So I was looking out for that particular statistic. Yeah, and so because the study said that there isn't a statistical difference between the control group and those who took the vaccine, I think that was one of the main points for me that I was looking out for. I actually wish that there was a compulsory blood tests or some kind of thing that the hospitals could do to prove that the babies of pregnant women actually do have antibodies because if you do and it's on the record that you do have some antibodies I think it would be very helpful I think that it would give the mums as well some peace of mind because now it's a question mark we don't really know and normally in a PET setting you won't purposely go and like prick your baby and get blood lah it's very painful to see that but then they did it when the baby was just born and it's in the thing and I don't know, I don't see and then just give me the result I think I'm okay lah If you are already cleared medically and your doctor is giving you the choice to be vaccinated is to absolutely go and be vaccinated and for me it's more about the potential benefits rather than the, oh, I don't want to get effects from the virus. So I, I, I do think that it's a massive push for people who are thinking about it because the potential benefits to me outweigh the risks. Obviously, it doesn't help to nag because I really didn't like it when my mom was nagging me. I think it was better to say, this is the information. I think you should have a look. To anyone who is thinking about it or like trying to encourage their their kids, their, their daughters, their pregnant daughters do it. Please use information and don't use this, you know, emotional or whatever. Please, 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 please. please.